What's going on 2A crew? It's Rizzo, Ophidian Tactical in the day. We're gonna do a review of the Sig Sauer M400 Tread. Uh, beautiful gun. This is Sig's, uh, I guess you wanna call it their entry level, um, entry level AR-15, but uh, I say budget, entry level, cause you know, for most entry level uh, SIGs would probably run two, three hundred dollars cheaper than this one. So, but this is their uh, their entry level uh, AR-15. So let's uh, let's talk about it. All right, so yeah, beautiful gun. But we're gonna start with the uh, the buttstock. Uh, it's a, a Magpul uh, SLK <laughs> six position um, six position. Stock. So, like I said, six position. So you should be able to, you know, between here and here, find you a nice little, nice little spot to uh, to put it at. Uh, the little um, thing you adjust it with. It's on both sides. So you can just, uh, well, I guess you call it ambidextrous, huh? Uh, nice little uh, pad on the back to kind of absorb some of the recoil. And uh, nice, slim, sleek design. Very small. Um, and you also have a QD mount in there to uh, for your uh, sling. So yeah, buttstock is very nice, very nice buttstock. All right, so next let's talk about the Sig Sauer uh, grip. Um, it's a pretty good grip, can it? You know, to the rear, but not a whole lot to make it um, uncomfortable. So ergonomically, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's not. Um, it's just, it's not mildly aggressive, I guess is what you'll call that. So not really very aggressive. Got some little grooves on the um, front and back here. And also uh, has a little compartment that you can take out to store your little supplies or whatnot up inside of this. So that grip is pretty good. All right, so we'll move on up to the safety. Um, you can see here, safety is ambidextrous. You can look and see on, on both sides for the safety and um, the safety on the left hand side is actually longer than the one on the right. And that's just because most people are right handed and if you have that safety in the fire position, right handed, you know, it'll so. Left these, I guess you got to deal with that uncomfortableness. But yeah, it's a little short. It's ambidextrous, but it is shorter on the uh, on the right hand side. A little shorter, shorter safety length. All right, so moving up, we got the mag release. Uh, you know me, I like to just hit. If it falls, it's good. The mag release is also um, ambidextrous. Um, if you look on this side, regular looking uh, mag release. And on this side, it's kind of got a little, it's kind of pushed that little back part there. It's not a hole, so just kind of pushed the little back part where my finger is right there. So it's a little different on both sides. But yep, that is the ambidextrous mag release. All right, so while we're on uh, this side, we'll look at the. Uh, bolt catch bolt release and this one is a little little different instead you know most of them just have a little spot there that you push in and then a little knob coming down this one has an extra little extra little spot right there right there on the bottom to make it a little easier to uh to do so if you or to lock it in with that magazine and you want it to close it you can just push it in you know, or with that little button there Let's pop that out. Yep, so a little nice little button to help you push push it in. So that button there. Yep, so that's a nice little uh addition. That's what you get when you pay a couple hundred dollars extra than the uh regular uh entry level. Missed a little spot, there's a little QD level right there on the back um i think uh some of the newer models have them on the uh on the side but yeah mine is is here on the back so qd here and here but i think the newer models have them on the uh on the side but yeah 
So the charging handle, um, regular uh, mil spec charging handle. So uh, pop that magazine out of there. Uh, and it's not uh, any the uh, latching levers on the left hand side there. You got a pick rail up top um, of the upper receiver. So it goes to the end of the upper receiver, but not across the whole um, handguard. So pick rail is just on the um, the whole length of the upper receiver is where your pick rail is. All right, so trigger is pretty nice. Uh, polished uh, single stage uh, trigger. Pretty nice. Um, Sig says this delivers a smoother trigger pull than mil spec for greater accuracy. We'll check that out. Well, I've already checked it out. It's pretty smooth. Um, yeah, but it's, it's mil spec, but they say it's smoother trigger pull than uh, than mil spec on that trigger. All right, so we can uh, we can check out the trigger real quick. Let's see what we get here. And yeah, no uh, no creep at all. It's just gonna click and reset. Bam, right there. So that's uh, that's nice. Pretty good, pretty good job on that trigger. All right, so we didn't even get into the basics. Um, chambered in 5.56, um, 16 inch barrel, uh, pretty nice shooting thing. Uh, three prong uh, flash hider, flash suppressor. A front that works pretty good. Uh, twist rate uh, one and eight and a uh, direct uh, impingement system, so yeah. This thing is nice. Shoots nice. Shoots nice. Very nice. Very flat. Um, it does have a stainless steel uh, gas block that uh, SIG on their site says it's uh, lighter than titanium. Yeah, so uh, that's nice. And you can add a uh, suppressor. So yeah, I may want to upgrade in the future. Get me one. So we can talk about the handguard. Um, handguard actually looks pretty nice. Got some... Uh, M lock uh, on the side, side and on the top here, so you can add your accessories. Uh, it comes with the uh, the foregrip, and actually, your mount was already installed. I probably need to move that um, back because I added the light. So um, um, there is one. The, the handguard gets hot quick. If I had one issue with the gun, I would say that, and that's mostly because. Um, where it connects, you know, it's free floated, but it connects here. And as you can see, all your M lock is up front, and that's where you're you know, cooling it off. So there's nothing back here. All that, you know, heat is right in here, and this thing gets hot quickly. That would be the only problem I would I would have with that is that it gets hot really quick. You can see the the barrel nut makes contact with the handguard, and yeah, that that just heats. Uh, Heat that thing up. So yeah, uh, it does get hot pretty quick um, after a couple of mags. So you may, uh, if you want to shoot with gloves on, that's fine. Or just, you know, let it cool off for a little while for you. Yeah, but it does, uh, that may be the only problem I have with this thing. It is fun to shoot. And if you're going to just be holding on to the handguard, you may not worry about it. But yeah, it gets hot. It gets hot. It gets hot quickly. Um, but you can... Um, if you go on the site, you can buy a uh, a different handguard to uh, to put on there that has M lock uh, all the way up and down. So that would be a cool thing to uh, to get if you want to get that. So um, yeah, I really enjoy this gun. I may be a little partial. This actually was my first uh, AR-15. I was looking for a entry level one, and everybody knows I like Sig, so of course I went with the Sig Sour. Uh, I said, wasn't looking for a budget, just entry level, and, and for me, I want an entry level something good. Um, yeah, I think my, my next AR will be one that I will actually uh, put together myself. Haven't done that yet, so I'm looking forward to doing that. But yeah, uh, nice gun. Um, ergonomics are great. It shoots well, shoots pretty flat. Um, like I said, the only issue I have is just the handguard gets a little hot. Um, I saw it. I guess average price I saw for now is about eight fifty, which is not bad. Um, I saw a lot for you know about a hundred, hundred fifty dollars more. So, um, 
Yeah, I paid a little more than that when I got mine. Um, last year, we got eight fifty. Uh, so that's not like I say, not a budget AR, but it is the uh, entry level. So if you're looking for an entry level, your first AR, you wanna, you got a couple of dollars to spend. I would definitely recommend the Sig Sauer uh, M400 Tread. It is a great. Um, I wouldn't even say entry level, just a great AR-15 period. If you want to just go out and shoot, and so you may want to upgrade, get that new handguard, but besides the handguard, this thing is uh, six out profession. Perfection. Is that that other gun? Well, they don't have an AR-15, so. Yep. Um, six hour M400 tread. Get you one. Yes, sir. All right, guys, that's it. Uh, we love it. Um, get you one if you want one. We'll uh, talk to you guys later. Until then, stay safe, shoot straight, keep training. Six hour and 400 tread. We'll see you guys later. All right, so here at Affinity and Tactical, we're trying to give you good quality content, um, especially for new shooters, uh, people that may be uh, underrepresented in the community. So um, if these videos are helpful or informational, uh, like and subscribe. Uh, it's kind of help grow the channel. That's what we're trying to do is grow, get to as many people as possible. So if you like what you see, like and subscribe. All right? You guys stay safe.